So welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we also do enjoy um, in the building the simpler problems. Um, so uh, today's problem comes from the MIT 2024 Integration B semifinals number two, uh, problem three, which is the definite integral from x equals to zero to x equals to infinity, or x tending to infinity, of e to the power x squared over uh, x squared plus a half or uh, squared. So this is an interesting problem. Uh, before I jump into the solution to this problem, I'd like to uh, shout out to our subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. We don't take your support for granted. Uh, for our first time visitors here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always um, do, we do go out, look and uh, find uh, harder problems and then we come back with the solution to these problems and we share with you. Um, we don't say we're always right, but we try to share the best we can. And if you have uh, any suggestions or uh, comments, please leave those in the comment section and we'll love to get back to you. Uh, to those who are back uh, but haven't subscribed, we do really encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel. So uh, on to the solution to the problem. Um, the, the first thing that I, I looked at this problem and uh, popped out was uh, the derivative of um, negative 1 over x squared plus 1 over 2 is the same as 2x over x squared plus a half squared. So this part here is very similar to the denominator here. So uh, this denominator. So our problem here can be expressed as um, the integral uh, from x equals to 0 to x tending to infinity of e to the power x squared over 2x. Now this 2x is supposed to cancel this 2x times the derivative uh, of negative 1 over x squared plus 1. And so um, this problem now has uh, rendered itself uh, interesting because now we can look at our problem as the integral of u capital U uh, dv being equal to uv minus the integral of uh, capital V uh, times capital I mean d capital U. And so our u is this and our v is whatever is inside the bracket. And therefore uh, our uv is e to the power negative x squared over 2x times our v is negative 1 over x squared plus half and therefore applying the limits appropriately. Now I'll keep it this way because it's uh, there is a reason why I want to keep it this way because the limit as x, standing, x tends to 0 uh, is not exactly a 0 or it, so we want to keep it that way um, so that when it interacts with the succeeding terms uh, the entire thing goes to 0. That's why I want to keep it that way. Now uh, v is negative 1 over x squared plus a half and then uh, du is the derivative of e to the power negative x squared over 2x. So um, that is that. Now going forward, um, we see here again we can continue with uh, the process of integration by parts. And so as we can see here, um, we've uh, kept um, our first term as it is here. And now this derivative here is the same as uh, deriving uh, this first. We can apply the derivative of the product, uh, which we derive first of all e to the power negative x squared, which is negative 2x e to the power negative x squared, and keeping 1 over x as it is, time, my, and then we add uh, plus the derivative of 1 over uh, 2x, which is negative e to the power, which is 1 over x, uh, negative. 1 over 2x squared times the power negative x squared as it is here. Now simplifying that further, keeping um, this first term as it is, um, and then pulling out uh, negative e squared um, over 2x squared out, and we're left with x squared plus a half. And this and that can cancel, 
So we are left with this negative and negative becoming a positive. So we have now a reduced uh, integral, which is now e to the power x squared over x squared uh, integrated from x equals to 0 to x tending to infinity, which is interesting. Now going forward, um, what happens is that we can now consider this 1 over x squared as the derivative of a negative 1 over x, um, right? And so doing another integration by parts, so we have our uv, um, which is, we have obviously less negative as it is there, our uv now is the product of this and this, which is e to the power negative x squared over x, uh, 0 to x tending to infinity. And then uh, since we have this negative here, uh, the minus and this negative interact, so we have a plus, um, the derivative of e to the power negative x squared, which is negative 2x e to the power negative x squared. And as we see, this and that interact, and this and that cancel, or convert it to positive. And so we have now, uh, very interestingly, um, these first parts, keeping them that way, and then we have plus 2, the integral from x equals to 0 to x and infinity of e to the power uh, negative x squared. So I'd like to combine these two together. And what comes out of there is now um, e to the power x squared over x minus e to the power x squared over 2x times 1 over x squared plus a half. Uh, and with the limits applied appropriately. And then keeping this as it is, uh, simplifying this further uh, results into now x times e to the power x squared over x squared plus a half. Now, uh, this is the same as the limit as x tends into infinity of x squared x times e to the power negative x squared over x squared plus a half minus the limit as x tending to zero when it of x times e to the power x squared over x squared plus a half. With this, it's very simple to see that uh, when x is 0, this is the denominator is a half, the numerator here is 1, and this is 0, so this entire thing goes to 0 because this x here makes it collapse to 0. And keeping this as it is, uh, we're left with now the harder part, which is um, looking at it when x tends to infinity, right? Uh, when x tends to infinity, uh, it's interesting um, what happens there. Um, if we separate um, this uh, part here, and we have a product of limit x tending to infinity and x tending to infinity, um, when this, you consider this part alone, uh, x tends to infinity, x squared plus 1 tends to infinity, so we can use L'Hopital. And with L'Hopital, uh, you get the first derivative of the numerator, which is 1, and this is 2x, so we have a 0 uh, with this part, and then obviously this one also is 0. So, um, when x tends to infinity here, uh, this uh, part here tends to 0. Um, and so uh, we are left with um, twice the integral from x of x, integral from x equals to 0 to x tends to infinity of e to the power x squared. Now, this is a popular Gaussian um, integral. And this is the positive half of uh, a complete Gaussian curve. Uh, and so, and it's a half of obviously the entire integral from x tending to negative infinity to x tending to infinity. And so, if we apply the half, the half uh, cancels with these two. And so, we have the full integral now uh, from x tending to negative infinity to x tending to positive infinity of e to the power x squared. Now, uh, this here is definitely equal to. Um, the square root of pi, um, which is the answer for this integral. Um, 
very interesting. Um, I hope you did enjoy uh, following along. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free uh, to share it with us. We would like to hear from you. Uh, any suggestions you may have on how we could solve this problem uh, in a different way, uh, we do welcome that. Uh, we're here to learn, we're here to share, and we're here to grow. Thank you. Until next time, bye-bye. Uh,